Let's wrap up 2020 and start our brand new year, 2021. I'm certain that today's story will lead you to anywhere you go. The e-commerce giant Shopify was one of the big winners in 2020, as businesses raced to boost their online sales during the year to grow and, in many cases, survive. Investors who missed out on the ride last year shouldn't be discouraged because the e-commerce age is just getting started. Today's hero, Shopify, which was founded over a decade ago, helps business build, maintain, and grow their e-commerce presence. Shopify makes money from recurring subscription fees and add-ons. The firm currently offers different tiers, one that is aimed at entrepreneurs regardless of the size of the companies. Yes, Shopify is ready to jackpot. Don't miss this story. Shopify has built a reputation as something of an anti-Amazon. CEO Toby Lutka said, "Shopify is trying to arm the rivals of the e-commerce." Here's the point: Amazon sells everything. They are also the great platform for individual sellers, but Amazon itself has a brand, and they sell their products. It means Amazon is main seller of their platform. But the Shopify is of the sellers, by the sellers, and for the sellers. They do not even sell the products; just a software platform. Shopify only stands behind the sellers and support them to grow their brand. They just help every sellers to build their own brand and selling products. So, in one sentence, Amazon is more like a form of centralization, while Shopify is not. Then, how could the e-commerce platform that does not even directly sell the product threaten the behemoth Amazon? There must be the secret and the reason of the success. Let's find out answers in this video. Stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And happy new year! Wishing you the best luck and happiness this year. Two thousand twenty has been quite a year, hasn't it? Last year has resulted in significant changes on personal and business level across almost every sector, and the e-commerce is no exception. Personally, there was most vivid quantum leap in the e-commerce, and while the quick and lasting changes and market pivots have most definitely diverted or stopped us some trends in their tracks, they have also accelerated many that we knew were coming. Online shopping is one area that has been accelerated into the future much faster than predicted, and is fueling record online competition. In fact, one recent Shopify study that looked at its expected growth found that during the height of 2020, 10 years worth of e-commerce growth happened in just 90 days. That is the quantum leap. Chances are having noticed all the time you use the Shopify to buy stuffs online. That's quite a fit for a company now estimated to be the second largest e-commerce platform in the U.S., edging out eBay and trailing all the Amazon. To customers, Shopify is virtually invisible. Co-founder and CEO Toby Lutke wrote in a letter to shareholders in 2015, the year Shopify went public. He said, "This is by design." This is because, unlike Amazon, Shopify isn't a shopping destination in itself, though it has recently taken a small step in that direction. It's a platform for merchants to create their own digital shops with minimal fees and limited technical know-how. Shopify provides infrastructure, and subscribers need to do little more than upload pictures and link a bank account to begin selling their wares online. It has plenty of flexibility to customize their digital storefronts. For example, it powers sites selling Donald Trump's campaign gear, or it did until it shut them down following what's happened in Washington. The company's momentum has only accelerated during the last year, as online shopping surges and the company strikes new partnerships with companies like TikTok and Walmart. It's really a good time to be in a business of e-commerce. Lutka and some friends launched a company in 2006 after trying to create a business selling snowboard online, only to find the available software complicated, expensive, and geared toward large companies. They pivoted to created and selling a solution for the small entrepreneurs. There are now more than 1 million merchants in 175 countries using Shopify, including big brands such as Heinz, Allbirds. 
Tesla, Nestle, Budweiser, and here's one more, Kylie Cosmetic of Kylie Jenner. SNS giant star Kylie Jenner made headlines after Forbes magazine reported she was on a track to become the youngest ever self-made billionaire thanks to her cosmetic brand. In 2015, Kylie Jenner built her own cosmetic brand with only 10 crew members. Only 10 crews. These are the features of e-commerce. It only takes 18 months for Kylie Cosmetic to make the $420 million. All thanks to Shopify. Kylie outsourced the production and manufacturing and do the sell and deliver via Shopify. She makes a brilliant way of pipeline. At first, Shopify. Anyone, anywhere can start a business. Shopify boosts them with the slogan. Shopify is the name of its proprietary e-commerce platform for online stores and retail point-of-sale systems. They are basically a software company. Shopify offers online retailers a suite of services including payment, marketing, shipping, and customer engagement tool. And they also develop their own payment system with nothing to do with other third-party services like PayPal. If you attach the Shopify payment, the seller only has to pay 2% of fees of the card payment. That is way lower than other payment services. Many of their fiscal revenues are from the Shopify payment. And second, subscription model. Then let's find out how Shopify makes money. Here is the secret, the subscription. Now we are living in a world all about the subscription. This is a brilliant business revenue model. Today's hero Shopify is also one of them. At $9 a month, you can attach the buy button on your SNS account. A basic subscription plan costs $29 a month, you can own and run your homepage. Normal Shopify costs $79 a month, you can add more features like gift cards and coupons. At $299 a month, there is an advanced Shopify that is scale your business online and in person with advanced reporting and the third-party calculated shipping rates. And a premium service of the Shopify Plus starts at $2,000 a month. The third, Amazon versus Shopify. However, most merchants are on the smaller side. Just over half are located in the US, where Shopify is often held up as potential check on Amazon's ever growing power. Rather than default to selling on Amazon, the thinking goes. Entrepreneurs can just create their own online stores and they can also build their own brand power. Shopify doesn't build itself as a direct competitor to the Amazon, but happily promote itself as a counterbalance at least. In his 2018 letter to shareholders, Lutka warned of the risk of mega companies consolidating power, and in the Q&A session on Twitter in 2019, he remarked that Amazon is trying to build an empire, and Shopify is trying to arm the rebels. The fourth, Shopify digits. And then, how much products does Shopify sell? Let's find out with the graph and digits. 1,069,000 Number of the merchants on Shopify's platform at the end of 2019 $5.1 billion Global sales across Shopify's platform during the Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend in 2020 $1 billion Amount Shopify said in 2019 it would spend over the next 5 years of the fulfillment network $17 the list price of Shopify stock for its debut on May 21st, 2015. $1,069. The closing price of the Shopify stock December 31st, 2020. 67% share more than 500 investors surveyed by Benzinga at the start of 2021 who believe Shopify price will reach $2,000 by 2022. 7.4% e-commerce share of the U.S. retail sales in the third quarter of 2015 14.3% e-commerce share of U.S. retail sales in the third quarter of 2020 
Shopify made an amazing surge in 2020, the last year's supercharged growth of Shopify revenue, which comes from subscriptions, payment processing fees, and fees for add-on services such as fulfillment. The e-commerce boom in 2020 triggered sent drove of the merchants to set up digital stores on Shopify. And Shopify has a history of striking partnerships with companies to allow its merchants to easily list products for sale on their platforms. The deals kept coming, extending Shopify's reach online. Companies it has added deals with since 2017 include eBay, List, Instagram, Google, Facebook, TikTok, Walmart, and so on. The fifth, Shopify Fulfillment. Shopify is planning to extend their support to sellers even to the fulfillment. Until now, Amazon has overly dominated the e-commerce market thanks to its FBA service. The miss, Amazon owns the warehouses and takes charge of every processes from stock management, packaging, delivery, and even to the customer service. Shopify announced that they will do the fulfillment service using the network of third-party logistic providers to handle warehousing and shipping giving Upstart more firepower to compete against bigger players online. And Shopify showed up $450 million for Boston-based fulfillment specialists, Six River Systems, which are robotic stock management systems. Shopify is investing $200 million annually to develop a network of fulfillment warehouses that will operate on behalf of its customers. Adding to that, Shopify acquired Overload, which was the front leader of the dropshipping service. Dropshipping is a retail fulfillment method where the store does not keep the products it sells in the stock. Instead, when a store sells a product using this model, it purchases the item from the third party like AliExpress and has it shipped directly to the customers. Thanks to the Overload, sellers can introduce a diverse range of products to their customers. Look at the CEO said that their mission is to build out the businesses that underpin Shopify service. Fulfillment, for instance, involves building or acquiring robot operating warehouses capable of taking orders from Shopify powered storefronts and getting the product into the customer's hand within 24 to 48 hours. Fulfillment is one of the things merchants still struggle with. Shopify president noted, We have to get it right. He added in explaining why Shopify is being so deliberate in advancing the state of the art. And lastly, future of Shopify. Shopify's aim is to eliminate the e-commerce challenges entrepreneurs face, from setting up the stores to shipping products to customers. On the company's October 29, 2020, Earning calls, one analyst asked Lutka which remaining points of the friction Shopify plans to tackle. Lutka replied, It's been just a question of time and capital allocation, so it's certainly in scope for us to make the whole things as simple as possible. I mean, the ideal way for us to do that with Shopify Fulfillment Network is employed teleportation. Like if, we can figure out the physical related to that can just make the things appear on the desk right when you want them, then what would be awesome? Shopify's presence here is less direct than that of the previous tech giant, but the power of its example may prove more enduring. Shopify is also proving much smarter in its management of cash. It has enough to hand to withstand significant shift in its market and there are no sign has finished stockpiling liquid assets. Lutka is showing it's possible to build a company from anywhere, with a workforce distributed everywhere. If it successfully comfort most of the risk in front of him, the result could be to create dozens of ambitious multi-millionaires, and to create a more exuberant entrepreneur push than one that developed for the 2000 telecom boom. Thank you so much for watching my video and please subscribe to my channel and show your thumbs up. And I will hop around the world and bring lots of thousands of funny stories to you. Let's hop around together. Thank you and see you again.